Banner time. Well, Chris, uh, to get started, uh, you've been in the game for a while, had a diverse career and done a lot of things. Let's go back before we get to this film. Sorry, are you calling me old? No, no, no. <laughs> You wear it well. <laughs> Just seasoned. <Yeah. laughs> for you, man, again, doing so much, let's go back and take people uh, down that memory lane a little bit. How did you first get into acting and what drew you to this game? I mean, I started acting as a kid in school, really. I, I um, was doing like local dinner theater stuff in Fresno, California, where I grew up. Um, I went to a performing arts magnet school for high school. I majored in theater at UCLA. My first professional gig uh, was on the Danny Boyle movie called The Life Less Ordinary. So it was my very first day of work was working with Cameron Diaz and Ewan McGregor and Danny Boyle. It was fantastic. Poe, oh, can you tell us what the capital city of Mississippi is? He's Spaceman. The teacher asked you a question. Talk about a boy called Poe. Yeah. What, what intrigued you? What brought you to that project that said, I want to be a part of this? I tell you what, they, uh, John Asher, who directed the movie, sent me the script. And um, my oldest son is on the autism spectrum. So uh, A Boy Called Poe is about a recently widowed dad and his 12-year-old son who has autism. And it's them trying to figure out uh, how to survive together now that their life has been turned upside down. The character of Poe is played by a young actor named Julian Fetter, um, who uh, is fantastic. He, he worked really closely with John Asher for uh, over a year to come up with how that character behaves physically, the physical manifestations of the emotions that they're feeling. And all of that shows through um, in his performance in the movie. It was important that you had an actor who is not on the spectrum to play the character because you do have um, scenes where you go inside Poe's head that takes a stab at imagining um, what's going on in there sometimes. Like, you know, when the character seems to, from the outside, just check out. And in his mind, uh, he's a typical kid up here, right? So, um, so you needed a, a young actor who's able to do both, and, and he pulls it off in space. We've all become quite concerned about Poe's declining situation. What's wrong with you, freak? He has autism. My son won't give me a hug, but that doesn't mean I love him any less. You talk about the spectrum. What are you hoping maybe people take away as far as fulfilling something that they know nothing about? They, I mean, they call it the autism spectrum for a reason, because um, it is a wide spectrum of behaviors and abilities. And, you know, like a, a common stereotype is that, you know, kids with autism are geniuses in one thing or another, which is sometimes true, but it's not always true. Um, so I, I think this film does a lot to open people's eyes to the reality um, of what it's like to raise a kid like Poe. Because I, I have lived many parts of what David, my character, deals with in this film, uh, it, it made it uh, such an easy fit. You know, I had an easy childhood, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have any real, real challenges growing up. You know, my parents stayed married, you know, I wasn't really bullied in school, so there haven't been many things where I can draw on, like, an emotional uh, depth. But this is one area where I've got, you know, a, a, a sea to, <laughs> to dive into, and I think, it, uh, I think it comes through in the film.